Today, we're digging into two foundational architectural patterns in software, stateful and stateless. Both are everywhere, from the apps you use to the system's developer's design. Let's dive into the real technical details that make them distinct. In a stateful system, each session with a user builds on previous interactions. The server tracks state data about the session, like user-specific details, ongoing actions, or multi-step processes. Each time a user makes a new request, the server references stored state to respond correctly. On the other hand, in a stateless architecture, every request stands alone. The server does not store any information about previous requests. Each one has to carry everything it needs to be processed. This leads to simpler server interactions, but requires client applications to manage their own state or pass necessary data with every request. Stateful architectures often use session persistence. This means that session data is stored on the server and tied to a unique identifier for each user's session. If a user opens their email inbox, for example, the server remembers the last folder they were browsing, unread emails, and other session data. To manage session persistence effectively, stateful systems often use server affinity, or sticky sessions. This ensures that each user request is sent to the same server that's holding the session data. However, server affinity can lead to issues with load balancing as users are bound to specific servers, creating potential overload on some nodes. Stateful systems typically involve complex data transactions where consistency is crucial. These transactions often adhere to ACID principles of atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability, which ensure data integrity and reliability. Think of a banking application where multiple transactions are performed in sequence. ACID compliance ensures these transactions are accurate and consistent across all user actions within the session. In stateless systems, each request is independent. Take an API request to get current stock prices. Every call must include all needed information, like authentication tokens, or request parameters because the server doesn't remember prior interactions. One major advantage of stateless architectures is scalability. Since the server doesn't retain any session data, requests can be distributed to any available server. This allows for horizontal scaling, where more servers can be added to handle growing demand without complex session management. Stateless patterns are a natural fit for microservices. In microservices architecture, each service operates independently, performing specific functions without needing to track the state of other services. This design choice reduces complexity and enables services to be deployed, updated, and scaled independently. In stateful systems, users get a seamless experience since the server remembers their session. But this comes at the cost of increased complexity, needing session persistence and server affinity. Also, scaling can become challenging as balancing sessions across multiple servers is tricky. Stateless systems offer simplicity and scalability since no session data is stored, allowing requests to go to any server. However, stateless systems might need more data passed with each request, which can increase payload size and potentially reduce efficiency for complex workflows. Stateful architectures are used in applications like online shopping, banking, and gaming. Each action depends on what happened before, so the server needs to maintain context. Stateless is ideal for services like REST APIs, cloud functions, and microservices, use cases where independent, fast, and scalable transactions are prioritized. So when should you choose stateful over stateless? If your application requires a continuous, multi-step experience, stateful architecture can give users that smooth journey. But if you're building a high-traffic API or microservices system, stateless keeps things efficient and scalable.